Hello everyone, today we have something special. I'm so excited about this. So let us check it out now. Today's fish is what we call a flathead. I think they got his name because number one, you can see the head is really flat. Uh, it reminds me of like a lizard or a crocodile. Something special about this fish is that um, it has fins one, two, three, and four over here. And um, when you handle these fishes, you have to be extremely careful around the gear, which is over here. It has, um, I would say, sharp spikes. So please be careful when you are picking up this fish. Um, the other thing special about this fish is that um, it has very small scales and on top is light brown in color as is usually stay near the sandy bottom. You can see below the fish is actually white color. When it's on the sandy bottom, it's quite difficult to see it. So the top brown top serves as a camouflage. So this is a special fish that we're going to cook today. So let us start the preparation. The first thing that I'm gonna do is to remove all the fins because um, we do not want to injure our hand when handling this fish. Start from here. Okay, now we will start cutting up the flathead. The structure of the flathead is a little bit different from the other fish. So we're gonna start from here, which is where the stomach is. As there's no meat in the head, we're gonna cut the head off. This is the blood line and we're going to clean this first before we fill out the fish. Okay, the structure of this fish is quite unique. So um, what I'm going to do is I will split the fish in half first. Over here, this part. Okay, it has less bones in all this particular portion. But it has a lot much more bones over here. For this tail part, um, there should be some bones, not many, I think. There's one, I found one here. So do take it out. I'm going to cook tempura today 
using this fish. So I'm going to prepare the fish, cut it to half. Okay, we will then um, just put a little bit of salt on the fish, put it in the fridge while we start to prepare the rest of the ingredients for the tempura dish today. Seems like we are ready to do our tempura. It's about uh, 160 degrees now. So let's check whether it's hot enough. Okay, I seems that the temperature should be quite ready. We should be doing the tempura about uh, 160 to 180 degrees. So perfect. Start with the fish first. Second batch. Okay, the main reason why we are um, frying them batch by batch and not overcrowding is that um, you don't want the temperature to drop suddenly. So by doing this, you are actually keeping the temperature around 160 to 180 degrees. Fish is done, then now uh, we do the vegetables. More vegetables. Oh, all right, okay, I'm very excited. Um, Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, put some daikon into the dipping sauce. I have to try the fish first. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very good. I know my dog. He's so excited because this flat head is really good. Um, okay, my favorite white onion. Mm. Oh. Fantastic. Mm. 
Mm. This fish is perfect for tempura and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my meal. This is my first time trying the flathead tempura style and I have to admit the flathead is really a delicious fish to cook in this way and um, I would say that the cutting up of the flathead is a little bit uh, more difficult than the usual fish because of the structure. It's also my first time trying but I'm quite happy overall with the results. So I hope that you like this video. If you come across any flathead in the market, do buy one and try. And I will see you soon in my next video.